I recently moved out to attend university in a different town, so I rented a flat where I live alone. Every morning, I took my bicycle, which I keep in the basement of my building, and went to my lectures. Usually, the neighborhood is quiet, but one night around 1 o'clock a.m., my door phone rang. This was unusual, but I brushed it off as a mistake from someone who got drunk. It rang again, but I kept ignoring it. This happened at least three different times, so it began to annoy me. One day, I returned from my lecture and found a bus ticket placed on my door handle. This ticket was from a bus in my hometown, and it appeared to be mine, as the bus number on it was the bus that I frequently used. At this moment, I started to get concerned that someone was pranking me. That same night, I kept my front window a bit open to keep an eye on the entrance. I live on the second floor, so it's too high for anyone to climb. I shut the lights and waited. And at that moment, the door phone rang again. This time, I checked through the window and there was a shadowy figure of a man. He waited for about five minutes and then left. I considered calling the police, but I had nothing to report besides a strange man ringing my door phone late at night, so I soon ignored it. But what happened some days after almost made me go crazy. It was around 3 a.m. and the door phone rang again. By this time though, I heard the front door shut. Someone must have forgotten to lock it, so I assumed that the man was now inside the building. Terrified, I went to the kitchen and grabbed the biggest knife I had. Then I stood behind the front door and waited. The doorbell rang. I think my stomach dropped at that point. He rang again and then knocked strongly. I stayed frozen for an eternity until I couldn't hear anything. I was relieved and went to sleep after a while which in hindsight was very stupid as I should have made sure that the man had left the building. The following morning, as I was leaving for my lecture, I noticed some scratches near the front door's handle, as if someone had tried to mess with the lock. I immediately went to my landlord, who lives right above me, and explained everything that had been going on. He reassured me that everything would be fine. So I went to get my bike. But as I walked towards the basement door, I noticed that the lock was broken. I finally understood. The man from last night must have hidden in there. I hadn't heard the front door shut again yesterday, so that must have meant that the man was still here. I ran upstairs again and told my landlord. He got angry, grabbed a bat, and went to check. All I could hear was struggling noises as my landlord beat that man senseless. We then called the police, who arrived a few moments later and arrested him. I still remember his face to this day, as he looked straight at me silently. It turned out that this man had been following me for days and was trying to rob my house. He had done the same thing to other people in the past. I don't know what happened to him afterwards, but I assume he is in prison. I am forever grateful to my landlord for being so brave. We replaced the locks on every door, so now I feel safer. Well, I would have forgotten about this if I didn't open my mailbox recently and find another bus ticket.